in my electronics hobby since uh, 1963 approximately I salvaged many many components and they I, I got them from old TV sets radios uh, whatever and much more that I found on the street especially in Amsterdam where I lived in those days um, so many of my components here and here and say here and I go on and on so uh, a complete shop of components were in the past from old uh, radios, television sets, uh, pickups, uh, CD players, etc. etc. Uh, of course, nowadays we live in a kind of other uh, uh, age in a certain way. There are environmental rules. So it's no longer allowed to put a TV or a radio on the street. Uh, all has to be collected uh, because of environmental reasons, etc., etc. And we have, of course, the miniaturization from electronic circuits. So, uh, sometimes you find these big components, but on the other hand, when you open up uh, say a smartphone or whatever a cd player even a cd player or so when they still exist uh, nowadays everything uh, much music is directly online but anyway when you open it the components are extremely small and you cannot salvage them but well i had this old uh, electronic transformer to serve halogen lamps. Uh, well, a dimmer, also a dimmer for halogen lamps, and it didn't function any longer. The, the, the lamp started to flicker, so my idea is that one of the say transistors, I don't know that exactly, but anyway, could also be a MOSFET or whatever, uh, were defective or capacitors etc etc but I soldered everything out this was the print here and these uh, sorry these uh, components are valuable at least in my ID what can you do with it well we have here that's also perhaps interesting to tell all of these old components can be reused in electronic experiments, electronic circuits, etc. etc. We have here a beautiful ferrite transformer. It doesn't have much windings. That has everything to do with the high frequency where this uh, unit, this dimmable uh, power supply worked on, say 100 kilohertz or so. I really don't know, but anyway, it's not very important. You have here at least good uh, ferre materials that you can reuse, for instance in an oscillator circuit and then especially on low frequencies, lower frequencies. Perhaps when you break it apart you can use parts of that ferrite to make uh, an oscillator, say wind the coil on it on higher frequencies, etc. Here we have exactly the same. And here we have a kind of ring core that also has uh, can be used for an oscillator, a coupling transformer for high frequencies, etc. etc. The color, by the way, now it's green, has to do with the properties of the ferrite inside. So the ferrite material where the ring was made for. Here we have quite a bit of good usable capacitors of course you must test them all and there are test circuits both for coils this for these coils and both for capacitors on my youtube channel and i will give the link in the description of this video good usable capacitors in general they are okay that's the say common uh, uh, rule of some 
conclusion here again and the good thing is of course that all these capacitors are made for high voltages when you want to buy them you, you must pay a certain amount anyway here the, the blue ones often used in um, say direct power supplies like this I name it a direct power supply because it is directly connected without a separation transformer to the mains and in this case in the Netherlands there's 230 volt at 50 Hertz here the same conductors I have to study what what they are and I google them of course the type numbers and then I'm going to test them with my MOSFET tester I will also give the link in the description uh, how you can test that here quite a good bunch of diodes as far as I could see the 1N4007 that's very good usable they are very cheap by the way but when you have to buy them you have to uh, 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 pay portal costs etc here I think to transistors I'm not sure gonna study that better here there is a temperature switch that works on 125 degrees Celsius that's quite good usable you can also test that very simple heat it up uh, put it in a um, el electric circuit with voltage over it heat it up and see where and when that um, temperature switch starts to work and of course you can also say uh, measure the internal resistance while heating it up and a few good quality resistors always say measure them with your ohms meter often these uh, resistors are damaged very important to know of course and here another I think silicon transistor could be a zener diode I did not study that extensively so we have a quite a good bunch of electronic components that can be used for many electronic circuits and that was all that I wanted to tell so the video is salvage electronic components out of old uh, say electronic devices could be everything perhaps still radios or old old school television sets I don't know of course the analog television is uh, as far as I know long gone and there there were many uh, important components inside such an old uh, old school CRT cathode ray tube uh, television for instance the high voltage coil etc etc anyway pen over somewhat it was all that I wanted to tell here these beautiful ferrite transformers contact things capacitors and of course I'm going to test all these capacitors this evening and I think they are all okay but of course I have to test it so it takes perhaps an hour or so to test everything then you know what you have and what is usable again thanks for watching